Neil Gaiman once said, a book is a dream that you can hold in your hand. So today it is our dream day as there are so many books out here at the Word on the Street Festival here at Harborfront in Toronto. This is Andrew reporting from Voice K, a kids magazine. And I'm here with Heather Kanabi, the festival director of this amazing event. How is this festival different from last year? Well, this year with our new location here at Harborfront Centre, we really have had the opportunity to make all of the venues a little bit uh, closer together because they're not in a street in a big circle. And because of that, we hope families can get better from one location to another location. We have more of a variety of spaces. Uh, so we have a couple indoor spaces for some shade and then a lot of beautiful outdoor spaces. Well, we try and do activities for all ages. So we have something for little, little kids where they're just coloring in things after hearing from the author. And then we have things that are a little bit more complicated, like learning how to actually draw cartoons, which you could do for your own graphic novel. We even have workshops for adults where they can learn how to write better. What have you done so far at Harbor Fun? We got to meet some of our favorite authors and we played with some books. What else did we do? What, oh, you wrote a comic book. Tell us about that. Uh, I wrote a comic book. So Evan, how do you get your ideas for your books? Um, a lot of the ideas for my books come from a few things. A lot of times I'll like read a story or watch a movie and I'll try to, when I'm watching it or reading it, I kind of think of something that's somewhat similar but a lot of few or a lot of things have changed about it so a lot of the ideas I get inspired by other books and movies and just kind of twist a few things around with it to make it my own what inspired you to write the book what inspired me to write the book yeah, uh, well, there, the kids. there are a number of things that inspired me to write the books uh, I read a lot growing up and I always wanted to write the kind of book that I really liked when I was younger uh, books like the Nancy Drew books the Hardy Boys books there are also books uh, like Benicula that involve kind of like a supernatural element to their mystery. So I was really trying to recreate books that I really enjoyed when I was a kid when I was writing the book. How many books did you write? So I've written three books so far. There are three books in the series I've done. There are going to be seven in total, but only three of them are done at the moment. What kind of advice would you give to people that um, would be future journalists like me? And yeah. Well. Uh, I teach journalism at Ryerson University, so I've been, and I've been doing that for 27 years, so I've seen a lot of young journalists or people who think they want to be journalists, and the best advice I give them is watch the news. You have to know what's going on in the world. You know, there's a difference between broadcasting, just holding a microphone, and being a journalist, actually knowing the news. And so that's where I think everybody should start, watch television news, read the newspaper, read magazines, know what's going on in the world. Do you, do you like this festival? Yes. And why? Because they have talent shows and... And did you come here before? So, Ali, have you been to any, have you been to any other festivals before? I have. I have been to the International Festival of Authors, which is also at Harbor Front, and that's a great festival. And do you have anything else you want to say to all of the visitors? I guess I'll just recount on a quick experience I had with my niece the first time she came here. And she really said this was her the best day she had ever had. And I think it's wonderful when young people can have a wonderful celebrity experience with authors that they're in love with. Yeah. So I'm really happy we can bring that to your audience. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time, and I know that this will be another successful year for this festival.